Oh, burning dog fans. Jeez. I'm running behind today. I hoped to start the video when I was already there, but uh, you uh, caught up too quickly. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play a Boy and His Blob. This is not actually the screen I meant to be interacting with, so it's even better. I'm Burning Dog Face. Although today has been a bit hectic for me. I'm still ready to give another shot to the Citadel Levels Challenges. Jeez, took me this long to get the timer going. Ah! Madness. Aha! Stop facing to the goddamned left, for fuck's sake. Oh boy. Wait a minute, what if I just do this? No, no. Madness. Oh boy, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today and everything has just been a chore to get through. So I'm really pleased, you know, that we're here doing challenge levels in the final stretch of the game where it's surely not going to be frustrating at all. <laughs> yeah, the heat always makes me cranky. Although it's been uh, unseasonably cold for uh, months now. It is finally getting warm again. Sometimes it doesn't matter how hard or how many times I hit the stick, he just flies straight up and down. And other times I get pretty solid air control. I never feel less sure of what the fuck is going on than when I'm using the bubble. Like, even the, the bouncer, I get more uh, a sense of control than this. Like, that's just about really weird, non-instinctive uh, timing. Since you can only do the jumps when you're touching the ground, you only touch the ground in part of the bouncing animation. Okay. 
I just need him to turn around as well to orient me. Oh, hey, there we go. Well, it's got to be where he stands, right? Coming through, fuckers! Oh no. Oh, I made it all the way to the end! I'm sure of it. Well, no, I was sure of it last time, and then we had that missile maze that just kept fucking going. <laughs> that was my uh, real sense of that level, that it just keeps going. I was floored to realize that the, uh... That bit with the, the frolickers that just drop off the platform on top of you. Why did they put one of those guys down there? Those frolickers. I thought that was going to be the end of the level. That was barely halfway. Ah, uh, yes. That's what kept happening last time. <laughs> it's really weird to me that such an adorable game is so... It's such a pain in the balls. Uh. Oh, interesting. I have to move into them. Die! This is going to be a really difficult one to find a thumbnail for, me thinks. Ah! Remember, kids, you can fall any amount of distance onto a slope. Try this at home! <laughs> no, don't do that. For the record, that was a joke. Because you need to be explicit about it these days. And even putting a sarcasm tag at the end of your post isn't enough. There's a lot of people just stare right at that slash S and then respond as if it isn't there. Since it was actually working, I would just pop it off up there like this. Aha! You know, I hadn't really thought about it because, of course, it's a video game and the, all the forms are predetermined. But it's really weird that. Well, you know, I, I want to know how the, how the jelly beans work. They're all just fucking. Fake chemicals that taste good. Artificial sugars and such. So, how is it that every time I feed him a cola jelly bean, he just instinctively knows, Oh, I should become a spherical thin membrane and surround the boy! Hmm. Sorry. But not really. Thank you. It's right there, let's say. Oh, I see, 
guess that's where I died, isn't it? Ah! Oh, I had to stop, I guess. Okay. I was kind of worried that today would just be me in this level for four videos, but you know. Because it's very late and I don't have time to uh, do an elevator cut for you to be perfectly frank with you guys. It's the dead body of a zebra. Why is that here? It's a portrait of some gears. What else would it be? Oh yes, of course, the first one is always this. Just the general look of the level. Yeah, technically functional, but totally non-purposeful machinery, yes. I mean, that thing there would spin, it just doesn't do anything. Wait, were they mapping out the insides first? Because that's fucking crazy. But at least we earned that. Seven more. Nope, down, not up. Uh, yes, yes, the strange armor. That we didn't really get an explanation for. Freedom! <laughs> Berry balloon! Cream cannon! Licorice ladder. If they do another one of these, they should have uh, black and red licorice to make things confusing. This isn't a ladder, this is a lariat! Oops. Wait. Okay, no, there isn't a glyph there, I'm just checking. Tab, never mind about that. Even better. Hurry. Let me see if I can tie. I've just realized I'm on the wrong side of this to, for, for, to avoid history, so what I'm going to do. Try and time this properly. Oh, fuck. Because that's, you know, I'm generally frustrated here because it's the challenge levels and they're, you know, fiendishly difficult sometimes. But um, also kind of sad to be getting towards the end because, well, you know, this game was a treasured childhood memory on the NES, even if I was terrible at it. And uh, well, given that they haven't done one since 2009, uh, 
can't help but feel like I'm leaving it behind forever, you know? That's a bit further over than I was hoping for, but we'll go for it anyway. Oh god! is terrible. Ready? I don't think this works. I think I've tried this. No. This way. Fuck. Hatred. Thank you, Blobbert. You know that frame I happened to pause it on right there? It just made me think, he's becoming an A! He has other letters in there, it's not just O! Doing? Yes, that's right. You know, that wheel there, that's turning. It's just... not doing anything. It's like this entire facility was made to be functional, but at the same time it was also made by, like, a steampunk enthusiast who insisted on putting lots of little touches everywhere that don't actually change anything. How the fuck am I meant to do this? I can't get through there with a cannon unless I'm insane. possibly have the cannon up here. I just dismissed that idea out of hand the first time. For fuck's sake, Billy. I'll try to treat that as a whole, doesn't it? Uh, this is a normal thing to do. Oh my god! I'm not gonna fucking budge from this spot. Okay, we'll do this. That was incredible! This is kind of a Hail Mary, because I don't know what's on the other side, but... Hurry! Looks like the other side is, uh, more stuff to smash through. Interesting that his only method of locomotion seems to be hopping. He doesn't ever roll or slither along or anything. Mind you, that was true in the original game, so I guess they're just being, you know, consistent. Well, I can do that. If I had to guess, I'd say they're going to come back, and so is the cannonball. Okay. Pleased to be wrong in this particular case. You know what's weird? 
They made the little hand and, and gesture animation for, you know, stay there. You know, calm down. Um, for scolding him, I mean. But when you tell him to reverse, he just does it. He just knows. You're not telling him to do it. He just knows you want him to do it. And that's, um... That's a bit weird. Maybe he really is forming a symbiotic bond. <laughs> they suggested in the Venom movie that not everyone can do it. Sometimes it's a case of true symbiosis or not. Oh, and there's the timer. Which is very good timing for me to do this. Huh. Even the dwarf changes sides, depending on which way you're facing. I never noticed that before today. Yeah, compare the two doors I saw in this episode. The doorknob was on opposite sides. It's the most advanced console available in 2009! The PlayStation 3! Wait, that's the bed. Oh, right, yeah. Huh, we didn't get any of that stuff except for the window. Yeah, they just immediately dropped that. No, you're not finding Earth treasure here, you silly goose! Oh boy, let's not leave all that horrible stuff on the screen for- yeah. Let's go up here where we have our battle plan that we use to save Blobolonia! Blob! Blob! Hey! There you are. Oh. I'm burning dog face, and <laughs> frustration aside, I feel like that went pretty well. I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play a Boy and His Blob, and, uh... Hopefully we'll keep kicking ass and taking names. Two down, six to go. Later.